I'm Laura Van Rainey here again, and we are playing Spin Tires. It's actually been a while since I've played this, and we're going to start another map here. And let's see what's our coast. We're going to go with the Volcano. The uh, one map I definitely have not played yet. Kind of a uh, look at this and like, uh, I think I'll try another map. I don't know if this is... Just looking at it, it looks like one of the more challenging maps to me, so. Yeah, I definitely don't think I want to try hardcore. Uh, let's see what's here. Do I have anything else? No, I guess not. Or do I want something else? I, yeah, good question. Starts with the Earl. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that, I guess. Start game. This looks like a truck that actually might go a few places. Got a backup wheel, utility, carries 400 repair points. And carries one, ah, garage point, okay, okay. Let's uh, change truck here, see if we get anything out in this truck. Because if we can carry uh, garage points, might be able to kill, you know, a couple of uh, birds with one stone here. Folks, uh, get what I'm talking about. Let's see, carriage. Nope. We would need the, yeah, probably the tractor. And was it, uh, which one here had the, ah, garage trailer. I'll position your truck properly. Uh, what's wrong here? Am I still too... Oh, is it because it's uphill? Is that the problem? Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, before we go any farther, let's uh, just take a look at the map here. What do we have? So, yeah, we have another garage over here somewheres. I'm not sure if we actually want to attempt this with this particular truck here, though. Anything else we have? Frontal exhaust. Sure, why not? Crane support. Shh. Yeah, what do we need that for? Everything else is unavailable. So it looks like if we go that way, just uh, mark ourselves out a trail here. Okay, let's see if we can now uh, make it that far. Oh wait, I need to go this one actually. I was say, where's my red line? Okay, actually, I'm going to just turn the diff lock on. Might as well, because we're probably going to need it. Anyway, like I was saying, it's been a while since I played the game here. Uh, I know I'm actually still uploading a couple episodes yet. Uh, I recorded the last uh, map I did. I pretty much recorded that uh, within probably a two weeks' time. And I've been uploading one or two a week, so... So it actually has been a little while since I played. So hopefully I haven't lost my touch. Not that I necessarily had any to begin with, but... I 
So far, the uh, sailing has been all together too smooth, in my opinion. Six down. Oh, come on now. From just that little twig that's sticking out there, really? Oh, careful here. Kind of slipping and sliding all over the place. And I think I've already reached the end of my map. Okay, let's uh, get over here and do some more mapping. This is the point where we're going to kind of have to uh, wing it, I guess you could say. Oh, okay, so interesting. Lumber is there. Objective is there. And fuel is, of course, over there. Very nice. Uh, shall we go straight through, or should we try to go that way? I think we just try to go straight through. Maybe not the best of ideas. We'll find out. Oh, we made it without too much trouble. Now, if we can make it up the hill... And here I was a little more worried about getting through the water there. Actually, watch it. We don't bottom out the trailer there going up over the hill like that. Oh, this looks like fun here. And that's where our mapping ends. Okay. Well, I think we'll just stick to this path here a little bit yet. Hopefully without getting stuck too badly. Well, so far the truck is still going yet. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're still going. I would say, as soon as I said that, it looked like we stopped moving. Oh, we're still going yet. Let's see, let's maybe get up over this little hill here. We'll stop a minute, take another quick look at the map, make sure we're still headed in somewhat the right direction. Okay, let's uh, take a quick look at the map here. Yeah, it looks like we're definitely heading in the right direction yet. We're still heading towards the cloaking area, plus we have uh, the garage up there yet, so... Have to be careful we uh, don't tip over here either. Not sure what happens when you tip over with this trailer. I don't think I've ever tipped over with this one, so. Well, 
well, like the first part of the map where we could see on the map that you know it's not cloaked uh, was definitely easy. Now we're uh, now we appear to be paying for that though. Oh, I wonder if this is the logging area here. Definitely see a lot of logs up ahead. Okay, logging area, and I don't see a path out. Okay. Or maybe there is. Oh, uh, there might be here. Yeah, path out. Right, okay. Up that hill, huh? Okay, stop a moment here. Let's take another look at the map. Uh, I guess we're still heading the right direction. Kind of hard to tell, but... Okay, this definitely doesn't look like a path anymore. A little more off-roading than I definitely like to do with a trailer like this, that's for sure. Oh, we got an uncloaking area up ahead. Let's uh, head for that at the very least. Maybe that'll uh, show us where our roads are at so we can get to the garage as well. Okay, and removed. Okay, quick look at the map. Uh, garage, right. How in the world are we supposed to get out there? I guess we better first better get over to there. Unless we can get uh, across. Nah, I don't think we better do that. Okay, where's my red line? Uh, we got to head up that way. Okay. We will try to do that if we can.
Come on, come on, we just want to have it. There we go. Should have it now, I think, I hope. And that just uh, occurred to me, too. I better watch my fuel usage. I just happened to look down. Oh, we're halfway through our fuel already. Actually, more than halfway, actually. Actually, what we can do, if we turn off the all-wheel and the diff locks... It doesn't look like we really needed them on a path like this anyway. That'll definitely uh, save us a bit of fuel there. Okay, now where to? One of these roads probably goes to the cloaking area. I'm going to assume that one. Of course, the kind of, I would say, worser look of the two. Why not? Yes, of course. Muddier path always leads to the cloaking area, right? Oh, better turn our uh, all-wheel and diff locks back on. Looks like we'll need it again. Yes, I do see the cloaking area up there. I believe I can disconnect this, can I? Detached trailer. Hopefully I can re... Ah, uh, wait a minute. Uh, advanced. I say, do I have to put the stands down? I just don't particularly care to go dragging the trailer up there, but I don't like how the stands aren't going down. Eh, maybe we better leave it attached. Actually, how far are we from the garage? Hard to say, because I'm guessing we kind of probably have to come up and through there somehow. Okay. There we go. Detach that. Need just a little bit of help to get up there. Hopefully I can just back down this again then maybe. Oh, that's cool. Kind of like a little log cabin out in the middle of nowhere here. Cloak and removed. Okay. And with that, folks, I think that's probably a good spot to uh, wrap up the episode. Uh, we'll come back next episode and try to make it uh, further. So with that, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.